Oh my god! Oh, oh man. Oh my fucking fuck. Hello my friends, hello my patrons, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Better Call Saul season three, episode four. And this one is called Sabercito or Sabercito. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to get into this episode, you guys. Last episode was amazing. If you missed it, click here, my friends. Go check out last episode and then come back and watch this one with me. I would love to have you if you're new here. Um, if you're not new here, welcome back, my friends. We are going to continue on with this amazing show, Better Call Saul. And if you would like to watch my reactions in full, uncut, unedited, I got you. Go check out my Patreon below. Um, or if you're just interested in getting reactions sooner than YouTube, go check out my, no, no. Go check out my Patreon below, friends. I would love to have you over there. I do not want to waste any more time. I just want to get into this show. I want to see what happens. Let's get into it, my friends. Better Call Saul, Cybercito, or Cybercito, Cy whatever. Episode four, grab your coffee, friends, or your tea, or your water, or your whatever, your snacks. All right, let's go. Cheers. Mmm, that's so good. Cool. Oh. It's that dude. That's the guy that freaking, uh... Well, I don't know if I should say. I don't want to give away spoilers if people haven't seen Breaking Bad, but... But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That's the dude that the other dude. Mm-hmm. Never do it. Doobie doo. Echo. Don Eladio. Compré una compañía. Sí? ¿Qué tipo de compañía? Helado. Ice cream. Es un placer. Pendejo. No hables. No sé qué te hables. Okay, then. Dime. No se te ocurría escaparte con esas cosas. No, señor, yo, yo nunca... No, 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 no si estoy bromeando. Ah. <risa> ah, eso sí me gusta. Eh, hey, bolsa. Qué hijo de la chingada. Ay, <risa> qué gusto <risa> verlo, ¿eh? Balsa. ¿Y qué traes? No es gran cosa. Oh. Ah. Uh -oh. Los pollos hermanos. ¿De allí? More money, maybe. ¿Qué es eso? No. Drugs. No, wow. money. Shit. I was right the first time. Gustavo le manda saludos. <laughs> Todo esto en solo un mes. Él es un genio de la distribución. Qué limpio y qué ordenado. <laughs> pues quiero insistir que de ahora en adelante oh, no. todos me lo traen así. ¿Qué te parece, Héctor? Mira lo que nos dio Gustavo. Está impresionante, ¿no? Eso qué. <laughs> Hector is not happy. Not happy at all. Me parece que alguien está un poco celoso. Cito que el de Gustavo es más grande que el tuyo. <laughs> Those boyos. 
¿Qué estás mirando? Hmm. Very interesting. I love seeing all these little backstories with, with the characters. Oh, the DEA. Wait, we're not going to see Hank, are we? I just thought of that. Because I don't know how many years this is before Breaking Bad. That would be pretty cool. I would like that. She's so cute. Wait, I think that's a different actress for the little girl. It's a nice house. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Just tired maybe? Guy barely sleeps, if at all. Oh, we're back at Los Pollos. Hey, there's Nacho. Oh. Uh oh. This this is not good. This can't be good. Nothing good can come from this right here. <sighs> Welcome to Los Pollos Serranos. May I take your order? Tu jefe está aquí. Cabron, I need to see you a boss. You mean Mr. Free? Mr. Free. Can you take a message? I wait. All right. You, you don't have to do that. I'd be happy to take a message. Poor uh, Lyle. Sure Mr. Free wouldn't want to keep you waiting. Uh, sorry about that. Welcome to Los Hoyos Hermanos. Uh, may I take your order? piece bucket uh, with the jumbo fries and... that dude knows what's going on he's like i'm out of here there's no smoking on the premises please sir look look at the signs no fumar oh god gus is gonna be so mad uh sir it's employees only mm -hmm. lyle's like god damn it I just want to do my job. I'll let them go. Don't Sir. be an asshole. Just leave. Leave, people. Leave. Yes. I'll be right there. Oh, boy. I want you all to go home now. You will be compensated for your full shifts. Go now. We are closed for today. How do you explain this to your boys? Awkward. Mr. Fring, you sure you want to be left with these guys? I'm fine, Mom. Go home. Should I call someone? No. <laughs> Don Hector. Took you long enough. Your actions here today have endangered them, my interests, and those of the cartel. I am the cartel. And from now on, you are my mule. Ew, what is that? Gum? Poop. Don Hector, you must understand that I answer to one bolsa. You want to cry to bolsa? Cry to bolsa. Did Danny Ladio approve this? I approve this. <sighs> yeah, Gus doesn't take very kindly to orders. Or threats. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Mike. Never sleeping. Hmm. Well. I just realized we haven't seen Jimmy yet. I wonder if this is going to be a Jimmy list episode. This is awkward. Excuse me, everyone. Could you all please take a moment and join me out here? What is he going to tell them? I would like to apologize to each and every one of you who yesterday had to endure the behavior of those men. Mr. Frank, uh, who were those guys? Many years ago, I opened my first Los Pollos Hermanos in Michoacan. Those same men showed up. They wanted money. I paid them. Yesterday, they came here. They intimidated my customers. They threatened my employees. I must confess that I almost gave them what they wanted. This is America. And when they saw that I had no fear of them, they ran like the cowards they are back across the border. Guess there's a smooth talker. I will give him that. Yes, hi. I'm still here. Oh, I guess we are going to see some Jimmy and Kim this episode. We had an appointment with you guys for, I think, Wednesday. <laughs> this might sound bad, but man, I would, I would like love an episode of just Gus. Hello, I'm calling to confirm Justin Mike. For Charles That'd be great. Bell. Yes, it's 215 San Cristobal Road. What is she doing? Great. So, uh, we're going to need to cancel that. She canceled Chuck's appointment at his house for repairs? Martin's Handyman and Repair, 2.30 tomorrow. Thank you. How many calls did that take? <laughs> Seems like a lot. <laughs> You're absolutely sure you got the right guy for this? No, oh, uh, the creme de la creme. Okay, I don't know what they're planning, but interesting. Martin's repair. Oh. Yeah, Mr. McGill, good afternoon. Oh, <laughs> they're sending in Mike. What is he gonna do, bug the house? Is he gonna bug the house? That would make sense. The damage is mainly to the door jam. The casing is another step up here. I can't believe he sent Mike. Well, can. That's right. Where do I plug in? You don't. No electricity due to a condition that was explained in some detail. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I understood there would be no power tools of any kind. Turns a morning job into two days with me, myself, and Ben <laughs> Gay. But it, it's your call. Just go lock yourself in the bedroom, Chuck. You're fine. Um, okay, what I'll do, I think is, uh... <laughs> Just leave, Chuck. <laughs> uh-huh. Getting him to leave. Uh, see, lock yourself in the bedroom. Too funny. Oh, okay, maybe he's not bugging the house. He's just taking evidence pictures, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Nice. Probably discuss the rule of thirds, but otherwise these... Uh... <laughs> uh... How'd you get it? A dress book on his desk. If you ever need anything from my end, I'll still away go. This really wants one, I can't talk. Really made me want to go to a diner right now. Just sit and have breakfast and coffee. It's good. Uh oh. May we talk? Uh oh. You sent back the payment we agreed upon. What I did, I didn't do for you. Hmm. The man. The one killed for helping the truck driver. It's not the kind of thing I want to take money for. Your actions benefited me more than you can know. That's well, your business. Well, perhaps in the future, you will consider working for me. Oh. Here's the start. It's the offer. Could be. That'll depend on the work. <laughs> Interesting. Would you care to know why I stopped you from killing Hector? Like you said, it wasn't in your interest. A bullet to the head would have been far too humane. <laughs> mm. So good. So good. Oh, that means truck's coming. Mr. McGill, does this work for you? It'll have to do. Thank you. Community service hours will be assigned. <sighs> You must maintain lawful employment. You must only associate with law-abiding citizens. <laughs> wow. And I must inform you, Mr. McGill, as an officer of the court, your confession will be referred to the New Mexico Bar Association. We're satisfied. Thank you. Okay. Mr. McGill, your brother may be satisfied, but I am not. Uh-oh. Frankly, I, I sense a lack of remorse. And I, for one, would like to hear an apology. Charles deserves at least that much. I was wrong. Mr. McGill, could you at least look your brother in the eye? <laughs> oh, God, this is so awkward. I'm very sorry. I regret it all all of it more than you can imagine because because <laughs> now he has to deal with all this <laughs> should treat uh, his own brother like that not ever does this have a double meaning all right then i don't think that was very sincere <laughs> i'm putting you both on notice regarding the bar hearing First thing, I'm filing a motion to suppress that tape. You knew Jimmy was going to break in. You wanted uh -huh. him to. There's no way you were going to let him destroy the only copy of that tape, so you made a duplicate. We know that truck made a copy. Come on. Actually, Jimmy destroyed the duplicate. The original is under lock and key, and in due time, it will be put into evidence for your review. Motions aside, that tape will be played. Okay, Mike, I got another job. Break in and get the tape. What? Bingo. Oh, come on, man. One. Alrighty, my friends. That was the end of that episode. Another amazing episode from Better Call Saul. They never disappoint. As I have said before, I just feel like the show is getting better and better and better. 
And that's not saying that the first season or the second season was bad. It was amazing as well, but I feel like every season just enhances it. You know, it just gets better and better and better. So I'm really, really loving the third season so far. Loved the storyline with Gus. Oh my God. Gus and Hector, the way that Gus just talks to people, you know, and how he's so calm when he does it, but like behind, or like not behind, but underneath the surface, he always has a plan. He's always plotting something. He pretends to a lot of people to accept what they're saying or whatnot, but yeah, but he always has a plan to do what's going to benefit him in the end, it seems like. So when he was talking to Hector, you know, he didn't he didn't freak out and make a big stink about what Hector was doing. He calmly listened to him. He calmly told him he was wrong, but when Hector was escalating it, he didn't he just like let it ride out. And all of them, all the while, I'm sure he's planning and scheming and thinking of what he's going to do to Hector or whatever to get back to, to get back at him. So, uh, just just amazing. I just love Gus. He's such an amazing character. Yeah, such a good episode. And then the way that Jimmy and Kim used Mike. At first, I thought he was gonna bug the house. Cause that was like, I was like, oh my God, throwback to, to Breaking Bad where he goes in and bugs the house. But he didn't do that as far as I know. Took the photos though. So he did do something that they, he took, he did something in the house that they needed. So he took the photos. But I'm curious now that they know there's another tape, which we already assumed there was anyway, um, if they're gonna use Mike to go like break in and find the tape and destroy it or whatever. So this will be very interesting. I'm really excited for the next episode. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it. Uh, I can't wait, you guys. I can't believe I waited years to watch this show. Years and years and years. What the fuck is wrong with me? Anyway, that's it my friends. Amazing episode. Can't wait to see what unfolds in the next one. If you would like to join me, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already so you never miss an episode and you can continue on this journey with me of watching Better Call Saul and the other shows that I'm watching and the other movies that I'm watching. Um, check all those out if you haven't already. Also, if you would like to check out my Patreon, I will put the links below. Uh, lots of uncut, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Patreon only shows right now. We are watching this show and we might be adding another one. You guys can vote on it if you are a part of Patreon. Um, yeah, early access, all the good stuff. Just go there, check it out, see if you want to become a member of Patreon. I would love to have y'all. And that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching with me. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, if you're watching on YouTube and you're subscribed, thank you, my friends. I really appreciate you subscribing and uh, supporting my channel that way. If you're watching on Patreon, thank you, thank you, my friends. I really appreciate your support that way as well. And thanks guys. I will see you for the next episode. Bye friends.